New tonight, a debate that started on social media made its way to the board of directors for the Silsby Fire Department. This weekend, a photo of a Trump flag with profanity was seen on a fire truck during a MAGA rally. 12 News reporter Victoria Dillion has been digging into the logistics. And Victoria, what you find? Yeah, Dejanique, well, tonight there was just such a strong sense of community at the meeting with multiple people encouraging each other to come together as they try to move forward. Now, of the people who did voice their concerns tonight, most agree there needs to be some accountability, but don't think the driver of the truck should be asked to leave the department. In Silsby, dozens packed the fire department hoping for answers. You can put a flag a political flag on government property. Sunday, during a Trump parade in Hardin County, a Silsby fire truck along with the chief's vehicle were seen with Trump flags. And here's the issue. The Silsby Volunteer Fire Department is recognized as a tax-exempt organization. Under guidelines from the IRS, they cannot participate in any campaign activity for or against political candidates. Political so some taxpayers like Ashanti Peterson it. were concerned um, because those trucks are paid for by everyday parade. citizens. It wasn't the issue of, you know, um, which flag it was. It's just the fact that there was a political flag on the fire truck. During Tuesday's board right meeting, now. people called for accountability. You serve the entire public. The entire community of Silsby pays their taxes. So when you fly a flag like that, when you endorse a candidate, it alienates a part of your community. But most also agreed that the firemen driving the truck the shouldn't be fired. All this responsibility lies on me. Before the meeting ended, Chief Robbie Jones took ownership for what happened over the weekend. Did I make the wrong decision? Yes, I did. And assured the public but that it wouldn't happen you. again. But once again, I want to tell you, I apologize for what happened. But Now, the board of directors is not expected to make a decision tonight in regards to disciplinary, disciplinary actions, but the chief says he's ready to accept whatever consequence they deem necessary. Now, this is a developing story, and we'll continue to update you as we learn more. For now, I'm Victoria DeLeon, 12 News.